The world today is gripped by an overwhelming sense of fear and anxiety, shaped by the chaotic whirlwinds of social and political narratives. This fear is not just personal, it's collective, deeply rooted in the stories we hear and the identities we cling to. People are terrified, terrified of losing their rights, their autonomy, their very sense of self. These fears are fueled by identity politics and a media landscape that prioritizes sensationalism over truth, pushing individuals to see themselves as victims constantly under siege. Why are y'all voting for Kamala Harris? I just, it's ridiculous how anymore it's really hard for people like us, like queer people and just anyone else in that um, general um, umbrella. umbrella. <laughs> um, general umbrella. It's just really hard for us to get rights. And with how the Republicans are handling everything, it's just putting more and more stress on us, like basically taking away everything we have. And it's just important that we feel safe just even living here because everyone's been wanting to like leave the country. And this is like the only chance we have to properly fix everything. What about you? Um, I would definitely say that I want to keep my rights. I really do. As a queer individual and someone who is physically disabled um, and may not like be able to do certain things, I feel like they probably wouldn't have accommodations for someone like me, especially given that I like women as a woman. Um, I want to keep access to my bank accounts. I would like to keep making money. I don't want to be some man's object. I really don't. It's the whole thing with project 2025 is terrifying i don't like i read through some of it and it was just insane it's bad imagine the terror of believing that your access to something as basic as a bank account could be stripped away or that you could be reduced to nothing more than a mere object in someone else's world these aren't just wild fantasies they're fears amplified by the political rhetoric that surrounds us painting a picture of a world where everything you value could be taken from you in an instant. It's a world where people feel they must fight to protect their identities. Because if they don't, they'll lose themselves in a society that's becoming increasingly alien and hostile. The concerns voiced by those who support figures like Kamala Harris aren't just about like politics. They're about like survival. They reflect a deep, almost primal fear of losing control over one's life, of being swept away by forces too powerful to resist. These fears are exacerbated by economic instability, social fragmentation, and the constant pressure to define and defend who you are in a world that seems to be unraveling at the seams. And yet, as these fears grow, they also divide us. On one side, there are those who dismiss these anxieties as irrational the result of political brainwashing or left-wing propaganda. On the other, there are those who see them as a natural response to a reality that's increasingly terrifying and unpredictable. This division only deepens the sense of isolation and vulnerability that so many people feel, making it harder to bridge the gaps between us. In the end, these fears are a reflection of a society struggling to understand itself. A society caught between the desire to protect individual rights and the fear of losing everything that makes us who we are. It's a battle for identity, autonomy, and the very soul of a world that feels like it's slipping away.